First reaction uh, positive, positive in the way that you can communicate with the player on a distance so the coach can have also more overview about his exercises. Normally when you go into the exercises you, you, have, you lose also a little bit your vision. So now on distance I can see the total organization of the exercise and I can clearly communicate with the player. Also you can communicate in a quiet voice you know you don't need to raise up your voice loudly so that it keeps also the focus with the player on an input just now what the exercise what you saw where uh, the four defenders were playing on the line uh, and when you're playing on the line the communication between each other was uh, is very important so uh, who needs to step in who need to cover now, just now you saw some examples that there was not clear communication between each other. First, they were not playing on the line, uh, so it's important that to play on line so they can cover all the spaces beside them. And secondly, who need to step in? Uh, just now you could see when I was communicating with the centre back, he was transferring the communication again to his teammates. Even during the game, uh, football is full of emotions. Uh, intensity is always very high, so uh, the score for example, so it's not only technical tactical, but it's also the mentality of the player, the mindset of the player. Maybe uh, during the game he comes in situations where he's uh, maybe we lose his emotions, then by this harmony you can communicate with him in a proper way what is good for him to come back in his focus again during the game. Uh, very useful, I think. Well, developing is all about communication. So during the games, you know, uh, you should maybe also more time for the coach to observe and to transfer the message to the player during game itself. So in the game itself, the player can directly uh, give a better response to the situation what the coach is telling to him. So it will really help, I think. Yes, yeah, I think so. What was, by the way, very nice is that uh, when you communicate with the player and you ask him also to communicate with his teammates, automatically he was doing that. Well, we, when we do it without army, then you know, communication between the players was quite difficult. But with this tool, I saw directly the first reaction to the players is they transferred their message directly to his teammates also. And so beside the technical tactical aspect, it's also a little bit of personality development because players need to talk to each other. So this is very good. Yeah, sure. The reason why, to improve the communication between coach and player, to react fast during the game on new situations, what we need to improve during the game, and also um, develop the player in the communication to his teammates. So sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I think so. I, after everything is uh, uh, more advanced and so on, sure. I think it really helps, it will benefit, really. And when you have uh, top level football, you know, you have stadiums where 30, 40, 50,000 people are in the stage themselves. Like in this case, you know, it's still easy to communicate, but on top level games, you know, the communication between players and the coach and the staff, it's very difficult when there are full stadiums. So this is harmony, it's a big solution for coaches to communicate with players during the game.